You know, Rosalind, what we asked for mm. was a tile fire surround. Yeah. And you have surrounded <laughs> the fire with beautiful illustrations. So out of the 40 tiles, almost every single one has got some kind of relief pattern on. Yes. That's a fantastic achievement. You know, there's a story here. You're telling us about the pond in your garden, and I think that works really well. What I really love is this detail that you've got into this frog here. I mean, it's not just the textures on the surface. You've kind of captured the character of it, haven't you? You know, all the details in each tile, you've captured in a very realistic way. The only thing that I would say is mm. that the glaze application mm. could have been slightly better. Yeah, I agree. You know, I really like the simplicity of it. There's no sort of real pattern to it. It's really nice that, you know, it sort of bounces around. There is some rhythm to it, which I think is really exciting. What works really well are these pops of green. What happens here with your eye is you start here with that green and it travels to that one and then down here and it draws your eye in, which is exactly what an artist would do with a composition. I'm really loving the big relief circles there. I think they work really, really well. And last but no means least, the tiles fit the fireplace, which is no mean feat. You set yourself up to deliver the golden ratio. To deliver something that's really geometric, you've got to be really crisp. And if it's mathematical, it's, you know, it's got to be really precise. So I think that was a really tough thing for you to start with. Colours are there against the black, and I think that works. It is just the degree of finish, unfortunately. And there's that word again, isn't there? Finish. Yeah. And Ronaldo. <laughs> Finishing Ronaldo. <Yeah. laughs> I was a bit concerned that your dragon was only on one side of the fireplace yeah. and that the other tiles were going to be quite bland. But actually, you've got a bit of pinholing here yeah. and also the tile colours are quite uneven, which actually lends itself to the whole aesthetic. Yeah. And the dragon, although it isn't the dark green that you wanted, I think it works really well that it's not that dark green because if it had have been, it would have been lost against that dark background. Yeah. But my only concern is... What about me dusting? That's just going to be a, a dust trap, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Feather duster. <laughs> We're getting all the nooks yeah. and crannies. Does it really? It does. Yeah. <laughs> My first impression that looks really bright and very striking. It is a, a real sort of focal point of the room, isn't it? That's bright, yeah. <laughs> My first impression is it's quite flat. Where's the 3D element? Um, well, I was going for the optical illusion with the, the diamond lines. Okay. So it kind of looks as if it's sitting out. I didn't get that. I didn't no. see that at all. No, I, I didn't get that. But, but on, on a positive note, you did set yourself an incredible task of cutting these 80 tiles, isn't it? It was quite ambitious, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. But you've managed it, and they do all fit really, really nicely. <laughs> I think you've done exceptionally well because the challenge was to make 40 tiles and you've done how many? 102. But not only that, you've done hexagonal tiles. Trying to do a square tile is one thing, triangles are really difficult, but trying to do hexagonals, you know, that's another challenging aspect of your piece of work here. So I'm really impressed with what you've presented to us. I love the writing at the top. It's fun, it's, it's great, it works really, really well. You're the only one that's actually attempted or thought about graphics, which is fantastic. That was another level of challenge for you. Some of the things that I'm really, really liking is the, uh, the relief that you've got, especially on the hearth, that votes for women relief there, is absolutely wonderful.